like being on my own I could use someone to hold And I've been trying to fill the void But my bed is getting cold Cause I don't have you, I don't have us At least not anymore You said you had to go away Just to figure out who you are And I'm in this empty house With your pictures on my wall But I don't have you, I don't have us At least not anymore to my February Valentine's Day illustration for my bullet journal. This week, I'm starting out this month freshly new ideas and aspirations and one for some lovely peonies with a contrasting blue orb to represent Pluto. First, I am using my Sakira Koi watercolor set, the Pocket Field Sketch Box 1. I wasn't sure how to make them look like games or actual flowers, so I used a photo reference of a drawing I found on Pinterest. And it turned out better than me figuring out every single detail. Now I am marking the borders for my monthly calendar. I put a triple moon at the bottom as a bubble for my monthly tasks. But despite how much effort I put into it right now, in this part I end up covering it up with gouache paint. I made some weaving vines with green to contrast the pink oranges and to help mix in with the dark blue background I decided after to add. Unfortunately I just got to add a few colors to this month illustration and I'll have to finish the rest of it off camera. Because my storage is full with other art projects right now. 
Also, I'm using an editing program on my phone to edit my video right now. One of the features is adding music and editing the volume from the original audio file. Let me know if you can hear me at all because I have no idea if it's corrupted or it doesn't work at all. So I need, I need um, critiques on that. So quick disclaimer, I believe in various forms of love and relationships. For example, you could have a loving partner but still want time alone to recharge and I think corporations really mess with our perspective of how friendship or relationship should be handled. The most important thing to remember that day is to give yourself some mental support and kindness and request nothing in return. So one major dislike I have about relationships is that they could end any given point in time. Like say you could be friends for over two years and then suddenly they just decide that the relationship has gotten stale or old, so that's a big concern of mine. In the end, this person I was talking to ended up blocking me entirely, which left me with kind of a, a crippling fear of loss that I was trying to repair instead for them. So one major thing that's important to me in a relationship is consistency in communication and it doesn't mean like come in the form of conversation but with subliminal messages. One or two hints from other people so I know that they enjoy my company or the topic of the conversation. I cherish direct honesty and bluntness except when I'm arguing. It helps me feel concentrated and in a safe place to reply. And usually I build walls when this doesn't happen because I'm constantly in a fight or flight response. One negative behavior that I need to work on is that I constantly rely on my friends to listen to my trauma stories and to help me cope with my issues in my head. Instead, when they give me advice, I need to take that advice and work on manifesting it into my daily life. Also, I have to work more on learning on who they are and the obstacles that they struggle with. How can I show my inner child more love? A way I'm planning to heal my inner child is by growing my own herbal remedy garden. I'm going to plant everything from St. John's wort to herbal tea remedies. Just I'm, I'm just going to plant anything. Basically, at the end of the year, I'm planning to have a giant cellar of canned goods for winter food and I really think it's time for us to step back into mother nature 
and really accept that we have this all this abundant food that we could have from just a single seed. What do you love most about life right now? In my opinion, February is the perfect time to be practicing gratitude and self-reflection of current situations. Well, I love the holidays because they help out with the art themes. I love the countless concepts people can come up with. And even though it's mostly about candy and selling things, you know, you gotta buy your spouse chocolates and roses and crap. Honestly, I've just been really into celebrating pagan style holidays. Okay, so now after this blue background, I'm gonna work on the candy and this is just for decoration. I know there's a whole bunch of ones that say woo-woo and hugs and, you know, it's just, it makes you feel good if you buy that sort of candy for yourself. And I, I just really wanted to make an illustration of it. supportive friend I've had in my life is someone I met on Minecraft. Kind of funny, but for me, I really like Minecraft as an art medium and it's always changing. I 
Honestly, it's always flattering when people acknowledge you for you. This friend I've kind of known for kind of three to two and a half years, and we still talk even though we can't even play video games anymore. They've really been a major support to my life, really just providing an ear to listen to my endless nonsense, which is a lot. So whenever we stop talking, it's always like it's my fault for being like an emotional faucet. Honestly, I get to meet most people over Discord and old Minecraft friends. They're still there even after all these years. Like, I don't really talk to them much anymore, but I'm sure if I said hey that they would say hi back. So if you're watching from Discord, just know that whenever I see anybody's icon pop up that I remember and have good memories of, I immediately feel fine. Like sometimes I would be having the worst day, but as soon as I see someone else online that, you know, I can communicate to, that that means everything to me. up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night. and visualize seeing yourself as yeah I would visualize uh yeah I would this visualize, is when you were broke and poor you know, right having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh um saying you know I like your work or whatever that is and and uh I would visualize things coming to me that I wanted or whatever drive home and think oh I do have these things and they're out there I just don't have a hold of them yet, but they're out there. I wrote myself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, and I gave myself uh, five years, or three years, maybe, and uh, and uh, I dated it Thanksgiving 1995. Just before Thanksgiving 1995, I found out that I was going to make 
$10 million, dollars, dollars, dollars. I guess I'll pop in to just kind of explain what I'm drawing here. It's kind of a milkshake kind of crappy thing. Um, I tried to make my... Well, it's kind of like a strawberry milk. And in the bottom, it's just like marshmallow candy pieces or like whatever you would find in a Starbucks drink. Here I'm finally committing to what I'm going to put in my journal. So it's just basically the 10 questions that we've already went over. I know I didn't do 10 questions technically, so 10 things you can't tolerate about a relationship. Ten qualities you like about relationships. The negative behaviors that you should quit. Name one supportive person in your life. Describe how they have been supportive. below we're going with deep self-love so for deep self-love I wrote what do you love most about your life right now 
What are your favorite five songs? I know I didn't write mine, but you can write yours. How can I show my inner child more love? So finally, we're on the Valentine's Day section and we're getting right into the personal questions. We're going straight with, do you have someone truly special in your life that you actually love? Describe how you honestly feel about that person that you constantly think about. I guess you don't see me writing it here, but the last question is write a letter to yourself or a friend. Let them know that you're thinking about them.
I'll just pop back in here to say thank you for watching my video. It truly means a lot to me. Like, nowadays I just find it so hard to create anything and you know I just really created it for the friends that I haven't met yet for the friends that I already have just to really appreciate one another and spread love and kindness throughout this really strange and wonderful universe that we all have to adapt to navigate together and yeah that's basically it Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, thank you for your company. Goodbye for now, friends. I hope to see you next time.